Hi, I'm TJ Eller, design engineer here at Team Associated, and I'm here today to talk to you about our new factory team tire balancer. So why do you want to balance your tires? Unbalanced tires cause a lot of unnecessary wear and tear in your drivetrain. They make your car difficult to drive in all conditions, when it's on the track and when it's jumping. It makes your suspension work harder than it should, and it wears out your bearings and your hinge pins a lot quicker than it, than it should. Um, balanced tires make your suspension work more freely, makes your car easier to drive, and it also makes your driveline last longer. So now let's talk about a couple of the cool features about this tool. The first thing you'll notice about the tire balancer is that it matches our current line of factory team tools, so it looks awesome. It's small, compact, and handheld, which makes it perfect to use at the track or at home. It's great for 10 scale, 8 scale, on-road, off-road, or whatever type of RC you're into. The great part about this tool is the double-sided adapter nut used for all types of RC wheels. There's a large side and a small side, which makes it fairly universal. And there's a large step and a small step on the tool itself used for different types of wheels as well. And lastly, there's two oil-filled factory team bearings for smooth and precise operation. Included in the packaging is a small amount of balancing clay, a double-sided adapter nut, an extra long set screw, the tire balancer itself, and also a small set of instructions on some suggested uses for the short screw, long screw, the small cone side, and the large cone side of the adapter nut. So now I'm going to show you how to use the tool to balance your tires. In this video, I'm going to show you how to balance an 8 scale buggy wheel, but the principle is the same and applies to all types of RC wheels. What I like to do is mount the inside of the tire away from the outside of the tool. So I'll take the tool and I'll put the tire on top and I'm going to use the large nut side for use on eight scale tires. And I'm going to tighten the adapter so it's snug with the tool and I'm gonna give the tire a good spin. And right away you can notice that the tire is vibrating quite a bit and there's a lot of vibration going through the tire as well as the tool handle. And you can feel it when you rotate the tire quickly the quicker the tire goes, the more exaggerated the vibration is. And you can imagine what this does to your suspension on your vehicle when going through the track. So what we're looking for is the tire to fall to the heaviest point. We're going to slow it down just a little bit. Gravity will take the tire to the heaviest point, and it's at this point that we're going to place some balancing clay on the opposite side, which is going to balance out our tire. So we're just gonna let this fall and rock back and forth. And you don't have to let it stop. Eventually you'll kinda of know where the heavy spot is. You can follow it. And once we know where our heavy spot is, we're gonna put some balancing clay on the opposite side. So we'll go ahead and put some, put some clay on the inside. And on the inside, on the top, this is where you're going to want to put it. Uh, it should stick to the inside of the tire, no problem. Just press it up against there. And go ahead and give your tire a good spin again. And keep repeating this process until you found that the tire doesn't rock back and forth. It just continuously spins freely. So after some trial and error, I've ended up with my balanced wheel. I've added some clay on the inside of the wheel here. It doesn't take that much, but it's just enough to make the tire balanced. You can go ahead and give your tire a good spin, and you can feel right away that there's a lot less vibration going through the tire, and you can feel it in the handle too, and visibly you can see that the tire is shaking less. And a good way to check to see how balanced it is, is you can slow it down, and you wanna look for a continuous motion. You don't want the tire to rock back and forth. Once the tire continuously spins in a, in a nice smooth circle, you know that it's balanced. So right here we've got, if you follow the screen dot, we've got a good spin on this tire, which means it's perfectly balanced. And it's difficult to get it 100% balanced because the way that the foam 
could be seated inside of the wheel or the way that the tire is glued to the wheel, that could make it somewhat out of balance. But balancing the inside is always going to be better than not balancing it at all. After I run these tires, I'll come back into the pits and I'll recheck them to see if they're still balanced. The foam could possibly reseat itself within the wheel. And if there's any tire wear or dirt stuck in the wheel, I'd like to make sure that it's still in balance after cleaning my wheels. Some other options for using the small set screw include 10 scale four wheel drive and two wheel drive wheels, as well as fronts, and also 10 scale touring car wheels. The process for mounting them on the tool is very similar to how we mounted the eight scale wheel, only this time we're going to use the small cone side of our adapter nut. And after placing the wheel on top of the tool, we're just going to screw it down, make sure it's nice and snug, and give our tire a nice spin and see that it's mounted on the tool. For stadium truck, F6 or pan car style wheels, we're going to want to use the extra long included set screw which I have already installed. And the process to mount these wheels onto the tool is pretty similar to how we've mounted other wheels onto the tool. We're going to take the front side of this stadium truck wheel and use the small step and we'll put it over top. And using the small cone side, we'll just tighten it down until it's snug, give it a good spin, and make sure that it's nice and free. For F6 or Pancar style wheels, depending on the design of the wheel, you're going to want to use your best judgment on how to use the tool to mount the wheel onto the tool. For this particular wheel, I'm going to take the inside of the wheel and mount it to the front face of the tool, and I'm going to use the small cone side to tighten it down And once it's nice and tight, you can give it a, a good spin and make sure it's on and it'll spin true. So there you go. There's our new factory team tire bouncer. I hope you found this video informative. And if you don't have one, you should go get one. It's part number 1498. You can buy them directly off our website, teamassociated.com, or go to your local hobby shop.